For more than half a century, John Rocca has immortalized life in New York through the thousands of photos he's taken for local newspapers. Fifty-three years later, he's still chasing the news in his 14-year-old car that has amassed 199,000 miles. The lifeline of his career has been the police scanner, which alerts him to breaking news events. The scanner is as important as the camera. It is a piece of equipment that I could not live without. But Rocca and the rest of the media are due to be silenced from future communications. The NYPD is installing a half billion dollar upgrade that will encrypt police radios, which means the public, including the press, will no longer be able to listen in. Well, they feel that too many bad people have them and they're using them uh, uh, in an unlawful way. While news organizations and others are challenging the encryption process, arguing it inhibits transparency, Rocca is still out there chasing the news. Today, the scanner alerted me to a train derailment in Coney Island. Uh, no reported injuries at this time, but uh, I'm on the scene here. With the energy of someone half his age, Rocca charges into action. It's drilling. The camera is, the shutter is going, your adrenaline is running. I made elevations that nobody else has. So that makes it even better. Some of my shots are exclusive. He's had his share of exclusives. In 2003, Rocca managed to interpret unusual jargon on his police scanner to get him to Harlem early enough to get a shot of a tiger holed up in a fourth floor apartment. That was the most iconic photograph I've made in my career. The one and only photo that everyone says, that's amazing, I remember seeing that photo. The scanner in his car and the handheld one has gotten Rocca to the scene of many breaking news stories. This photograph shows firemen digging through the rubble of a house that collapsed. This is a sad moment, policemen saluting as a policeman's body is removed from the medical examiner's office. I chartered a helicopter to get these photographs of the Amtrak train wreck in north of Philadelphia. Rocca is still enjoying an exciting career. He attributes his staying power to perseverance and, uh, you know, being attentive and being able to drive like a lunatic with your hair on fire in the city of New York. This was a productive day for John Rocca, thanks to the scanner, which alerted him to a breaking news story and the photos he took, he sold to a local newspaper. Once he no longer has access to the scanner information, he says that'll be the time to click the final shutter on his illustrious career.